Okay, iOS 18 is out, and we are trying to figure out how things work with this parts configuration um, step. So right now I'm just holding volume up and volume down, plugged in the cable. I'm gonna go into diagnostics mode. This isn't required, um, but this is the most reliable way right now to use the configuration option. Uh, if you go in through parts and service history and settings, it just gives a server error. So starting with this to hold it for a crazy amount of time. And once it's there, we're going to go through and see if this is going to configure with the new Apple screen on here. So this one is from Mobile Centrics. It's a premium refurbished Apple replacement. And um, yeah, according to uh, everything we're seeing about iOS 18, this should work. This should just pair itself. Oops. Agree. Finish repair. So there we go. That's what we want. Configuring. Um, now the one thing we're seeing is um, iCloud locked parts phones. That can be an issue display because it's property of Apple or one of its partners. So here we go. So this is um, from the biggest parts supplier in the industry, and this is now two for two for displays that are coming up with this sort of an error on a 15 Pro. So. Basically, if this phone came from a phone that has an iCloud account, you have to be able to uh, enter the account information to unlock the screen. Uh, as part of from, uh, so same message, just larger font, continue. Um, so restart phone. So people are like, oh no, it's locked, so it won't work. Like, no, the screen will work. It's just gonna have um, a message saying, um, to finish the repair because it's not configured, it hasn't re-serialized and matched this screen up. Um, so explaining kind of what it means for this to be an iCloud locked screen. So let's say my personal phone, I crack the screen and I send it off to any of the people that buy screens. So uh, mobile centrics. So you send the screen to them, it's cracked, good OLED, they pay you for it. Awesome. They send it to whoever they deal with, they refurbish the screen, and then it's back in circulation as a refurbished original Apple screen. Now, whatever phone, that was pulled off my phone originally, which had an Apple account on it, they sourced it eth um, ethically, and it's still going to be locked to my account uh, because I swapped on a new screen. So my understanding is basically all these screens are going to be locked out. Uh, and it's looking like this is a 15 series thing. That's what other people have reported. I'm only seeing people with issues with this on 15 series, not the 14, not the 13, not the 12. And then you go back a little bit further through the 11s and the X, uh, S and XRs, you're gonna see a different issue where it doesn't even have the prompt for configuration. Um, it's changing the way you have to change batteries. There is a whole bunch of whole bunch of changes that need to be figured out here. But unfortunately, in this case, Mobile Centrics has sent me now two screens, same problem. Um, yeah, so we gotta figure out, <laughs> we gotta figure this all out. So I just wanted to report what I've seen and um, yeah, hopefully once the actual public release comes out, some of this stuff is changed.